Hello and welcome to the course on dealing with materials data. As I mentioned in the previous session, we are now going through a process of explaining parametric estimation. Briefly the idea is that there is a population for which we know very little and uh, we would like to know more about the population in order to make more inferences about the population uh, through uh, observing a small sample. It is a very common practice and uh, I would like to briefly explain here why do we do that because uh, in the in the area of production of uh, some metallic components we would like to have we would like to guarantee a certain quality or a certain parametric value for that uh, product that we give for example if we are giving a certain flat product and we may say that the flat product has a certain strength property now we cannot test each and every uh, product to have what strength property it has so all the product produced in an uh, in a industry is the population but what we do is what we do is we draw a randomly a small sample test their strength properties and then we declare that this is the kind of strength property our uh, population our production will have how to go about analyzing this data the small sample realization that we get to come up with the values for the strength properties this is the question we are trying to answer through parametric estimation so we talked in the previous session that there are two types of estimator one is called a point estimator which would for example give you the exact value of say yield strength of the product. There could be another estimator in which we give an interval estimator. So we say that instead of saying that the yield strength will be exactly uh, 1300 MPa, we instead say that it would lie in a certain interval way for 95 percent of the time. It means that 95 per the percent of the product which will come out of this industry will have real strength falling in this interval. We started discussing in the previous session about the point estimator and we talked about maximum likelihood estimator in which we said that uh, we know the population distribution, but we know the form of the distribution, but we do not know the parameter of the distribution. So that parameter is say it is if it is theta then we said that take a joint density function of all the sample realization that we have got which is independent and identically distributed. So it is simply a product of their individual densities and then this function contains all possible information that you can get from the sample for the population with respect to theta. This is what we call the likelihood function of theta unknown parameter and then we maximize this likelihood and the point that give you the gave you the maximum value we called it a point estimator maximum likelihood point estimator of the parameter theta. We talk three examples two examples Bernoulli trials and normal were very simple and straightforward where you take the derivative of the maximum likely the likelihood function equate it to 0 and then you find what is the value of the two uh, one or two unknown parameters. But then we also took the case of Weibull distribution in which we found that you have to find a solution using numerical methods or iterative methods. So now this time we want to talk about method of moments estimator. We will again give the examples of uh, Bernoulli and normal, but we will also like to point out a shortcoming of uh, 
method of moments estimator by giving one example. Suppose we have a random sample again of a size x1, x2, x3, xn coming with a common population distribution f theta. And then let us denote mu1, mu2, mu3, mu a so on and so forth as a raw moments of distribution function f theta and let m1, m2, m3, m a etc. correspond to the sample raw, raw moments. Let us recall mu the kth row moment of a population is defined as expected value of x to the power k while the sample raw moment of level k that is kth sample raw moment is defined as 1 over n summation of xi to the power k. Now, <coughs> What we do in method of moments is that we equate the population moments with the sample raw moments. We take the population raw first raw moment and equate it to the sample first raw moment, population second moment raw moment and we equate it to the, the sample second raw moment like this. Now, if there are q number of unknown parameters then we take the first q raw moments from the population and first q raw moments from the sample and we equate them and we solve these equations because on one side when you talk about the population moments there is an unknown parameter theta in it while the sample raw moments are not unknown because there is a realization of data and from data we can calculate it. So, we have an equation with q unknowns, q equations with q unknowns and we need to solve them simultaneously. Let us take an example of Bernoulli trial which is the simplest of the kind. x1, x2, x3, xn come from a Bernoulli population where the probability of success is p and xi is 1 if trial is success and xi is 0 if trial is not successful. Then you know that probability of xi is p to the power x 1 minus p to the power 1 minus x where x takes on a value 0 or 1. And there is only one unknown parameter which is p. So, we need to compare only the first raw moment of the popula Bernoulli population and the first raw moment of the sample. The first raw moment of sample is a sample mean. So, we have to compare expected value of x is equal to sample mean and expected value of x in the Bernoulli trials is p and therefore, the p curl this is the notation I have used this is a notation I have used p curl is a, a moment method of moment estimator of Bernoulli parameter p probability of success p which is equal to x bar. Remember we got the same result uh, in the maximum likelihood estimator this is not a rule this is an exception. Anyway, let us continue another thing which will look like a rule. If you take a normal distribution, we take a sample x1, x2, x3, xn instead of calling it every time random I have chose now to call it independent identically distributed sample which is called IID sample from a normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square where mu and sigma square are unknown parameters. The distribution now there are two parameters. So, we need to have two population mom, raw moments and two sample raw moments. So, the population raw moment, the population, uh, population raw moment is mu and the second raw moment is sigma square plus mu square. Okay. While the sample raw moment is 
sample mean and it is summation of xi square over n. This is the second raw moment. Now, if you equate uh, the first moment with the first population moment with the first raw sample moment, you get the mu curl is equal to that is the MME estimator or method of moments XT estimator of mean value of normal population is same as the sample mean or sample average. Now you find that you have to equate the second moment that is second moment of population with the second raw moment of the sample. And if you simplify it you will find that the the uh, uh, method of moment estimator of variance of normal distribution sigma square curl is equal to actually this is MLE of sigma square which is we call it sigma square hat. You please confirm this. This is also a good case. But now let us consider the case where this may not always hold true. And this is why I am going to I, I have decided to discuss this method here. Method of moments is a very attractive method. And as you saw in the two simple examples, they very easily give us in a very much simpler manner the maximum likelihood estimator for the unknown parameters in the Bern case of Bernoulli trials as well as in the case of normal distribution. Remember maximum likelihood estimator you have to find a likelihood function then take a log likelihood then it is take derivative then you equate to 0 and then you solve the equation. Compared to this in these two examples you must have seen that finding a method of moments estimator MME is much simpler, but at times there is a disadvantage con uh, connected to this method of moments estimator or at times it is called moments matching estimator. Sometimes they are un inconsistent with the data and number of times they tend to be biased estimator. This we are going to define later, but here I would like to show that it may not be very consistent with the data that you have got. And one example is will suffice for that. Please note this example I have pick up, picked up from the uh, Wikipedia and I have given the reference at the end. You are also welcome to go through and uh, read through it. It gives a very good description of uh, method of moments. So, let us consider a uniform distribution with two unknown parameters A and B. Uh, I hope you recall. When x is distributed uniform with parameter a and b, it means that the density function of x of f of x is 1 over b minus a if a is less than x is less than b and it is 0 otherwise. This is the uniform distribution function, it is a continuous uniform distribution function over the interval a b. So, let x be a uniform random variable where a and b are unknown parameters. So, there are two parameters, so the first two raw moments of the data and the population need to be compared. So, the first raw moment of the population is the average which is a plus b by 2. The second raw moment of the population is a square plus a b plus b square by 3. 
you are welcome to calculate it out it is very simple because our function itself is very simple. Now you consider x1, x2 you remember every time we say that x1, x2, x3, xn is a random sample. So, I am taking a specific sample from the uh, uniform distribution and its realization is like this it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 it is a sample of size 5 it is a sample of size 5 and these are its realization. You remember we used to write x1, x2, x3, xn small x1, x2, x3, xn this is what it is my n is 5. Then the first raw moment of the sample is the sample mean. So, it is 1 over 5 right and the second sample raw moment is summation of x i square divided by n. So, it is also 1 over 5. Now, you equate m 1 with the uh, mu 1 which is the first raw moment of, of the population and uh, m 2 with the second raw moment of the population. We get that a curl which is the MME estimator of a has to be written as m 1 plus or minus this. This is only simplification of these two equations. Please note that these two equations have been simplified. To write that A curl it can be expressed in terms of m 1 and m 2 while B curl can be expressed in terms of only m 1 and A. Further simplifying you will find that A curl now equals to 1 over 5 minus 2 square root 3 divided by 5 and b equals to 1 over 5 2 square root 3 divided by 5. So, it is a is minus 0 0.49 and this is minus plus 0 0.89. Now, you see we are saying that the data has come from this interval. Can you imagine how 1 can fall in this interval? Zeros are fine, but 1 not fine. 1 cannot fall and this is the inconsistency. And this is what we wish I wish to bring it out to you that method of moment estimators are easy to calculate and very attractive very easily these days available on variety of softwares including R programming, but be careful when you use it. It is much better to use the maximum likelihood estimator compared to ma matching of moments estimator or method of moments estimator. Then why do we have it? It is a natural question why do we have this estimator? Well, sometimes finding maximum likelihood estimator is difficult, finding any other estimator involves lot of numerical calculations or very complicated equations. At that time we fall back on the method of moments estimator, but what this example tells us is that we have to be very careful, we have to solve it and we cannot say that these are the good estimator unless we put it through certain tests and certain observations. So, with this we summarize what we discussed just now. We discussed the method of moments estimator and we said that it is based on comparing distribution raw moments with the respective sample raw moments. So, if you have q unknown parameters you take q distribution raw moments and equate them with the corresponding q sample raw moments. You get a q set of equations and you have to solve them simultaneously. We gave two examples in which it actually resulted into maximum likelihood estimator only. It was a very simple example of Bernoulli trials where we tried to estimate probability of success. 
Then we took the normal distribution where we tried to estimate its mean and variance. But through the uniform distribution giving a one very specific sample that we may observe, we found that there is a disadvantage connected with the method of moments estimator that they give inconsistent result. Of course, I have not showed you whether how they become biased, but they also tend to be biased. This is an additional information. I have given you the reference to the Wikipedia where from where this example is taken. You are welcome to go through it. Thank you. Thank you.